Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Dave with Down to Earth Astronomy. Now I assume that most of you are not familiar with this series since I've done very few of them um, and it's been very sporadic um, and the last one was actually pretty long time ago now. But I'm going to quickly introduce you to the series. Um, Hello Dave was actually one of the original ideas for the channel, something that I wanted to do it was meant to be like a, well, very <laughs> down-to-earth um, vlog where I would talk about what's coming up in the games that uh, that I'm playing. So both news and what's and upcoming uh, stuff, but also what's going on on the channel. And it's also going to be a place where you guys can try and ask, you can ask me questions in the comment sections and I'll try to include it in the next video. That was the original idea, but if you go back, um, as you can see, there really haven't been that many of them and I haven't really been able to get this thing going um, as I really wanted to. Um, but I'm trying to give this guy give this a, a chance again, um, hoping that with the, with the slightly larger um, subscriber base that it might actually be able to uh, to work. Um, so um, yeah, again, might be something where I will allow myself to go a little bit more out on a tangent and just you know, talk about random stuff that is going on both on the channel but also uh, um, in games, um, but uh, let's start with some of the uh, of the latest news uh, in the games that I'm covering. So um, the biggest news lately, of course, is the announcement of the 2.4 patch for Elite Dangerous: The Return, um, where we, as far as we know right now, Thargoids will return, and this time we are going to actually be able to properly interact with them. That meaning, this probably going to be the ability to go out and shoot them, but we will also have a, have the ability to interact with, with them in some other way. So it, it sounds like we're going to have the opportunity to go both a peaceful route or we could just go out in on an, uh, an all-out conflict, uh, shoot them in the face and kill them kind of uh, approach to it. Um, but I mean, I, I kind of guess... I have an idea of which way this is going. Players be players, they will probably end up uh, shooting them. But um, it would be interesting to see what would actually happen if we went the, uh, the peaceful route. If it's at all possible. But, um... So, 2.4 is, uh, is announced to be released in Q3. Um, which is actually not that far away. I will expect there will be a beta server at some point. Um, where we can go in and test some of the stuff. Maybe, I don't know. I hope. Um, and of course, I will be giving you plenty of uh, of cover coverage of that once uh, once that server is live. Um, Two point four is going to be a little different uh, according to Frontier because this time they're not just dumping it all out, giving you here we go, here's everything in the patch. Um, just go out and do it. It's going to be more of a gradual approach where they're going to release some of the content and then late uh, they're slowly going to unlock more and more and more content. And I guess they're doing this for two reasons. Um, one reason is it's easier for them to bug fix if they release it gradually, because if they release everything, they'll just get a storm of bugs they need to fix, and they need to fix them very quickly um, right after the launch. Or if they if they do it in small chunks, now they can instead um, just bug fix that small chunk at a time. So it's gonna, I guess, it's gonna make the game feel a little bit less buggy. Um, when new patches are, are launched. And I also think they're doing it to address one of the um, the complaints that's been for the community that uh, the development of the game is a little bit too slow. They would like to see more content being released a little bit too, a little bit faster. So I guess that's why they're trying to go for this, um, this gradual approach. So you are more often getting new content to look at, even though the patches might then be smaller. And over time, you're actually getting the same content. So I think it's a smart move from Frontier. And I really hope it uh, it will work out. Um, it will work out great. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's move on because there's also just been an update to uh, to fractured space actually, um, the 3.5 update. Um, and I'm going to do uh, this. Is not going to be a full rundown of that. I'm going to do a proper video on that um, someplace in the future. Um, but. One of the main the main features for for the 3.5 update is, of course, a new hangar, a new graphical or graphics, whatever in game. Not that they've really updated the graphics. Not been any. I mean, there's not been any 
better or worse, it's just different, just new environments, which is always nice to, to see something new. And especially the lighting has uh, changed a lot, so some sectors will now look very green or very blue or very red, um, which also reflects the light on the ship, which is actually pretty cool, making it a bit more unique and stand out a little bit more. Um, but there's also been some gameplay changes. Um, there are now the uh, the queue times for PvP has been drastically reduced, which is nice to uh, to see. And we can now get back into uh, to PvP. Um, and they also changed the whole matchmaking, not matchmaking, the the um, that's ship selection. I don't know what that phase is called, where you the, the, you know when you, when you're selecting your ships, um, instead of just all five members of both teams selecting their ships, now the two first members of each team will select their ships. Um, and once they click ready, once they have um, have the, have locked their ships in, they will be revealed to the opposite team. So you can now see what the two first ships on the enemy team is, and then the two next players on each team can then select their ships. Um, and then finally, the uh, the last uh, player on each team can then select. And they call this four by four by two or four four two something like that. Um, and I guess it's to try and prevent uh, one team having a by chance, having a perfect counter for the other team and the, the match is being very one-sided. Now you actually get a chance to pick ships that will counter the, sh the ships that you have already seen the other team pick, so hopefully the matches will be a little bit um, a little bit more balanced, um, which is always nice to see. Um, then of course there is probably one of the biggest changes, um, which is the sniper updates, and again that's going to come in the a dedicated video we're going to go over the snipers but uh, the three through the sniper ships have been drastically changed they are now a lot more um how do you say that they're a lot more they can handle themselves a lot more in uh, in in single combat so in, in case someone gets close to them um they have a lot more utilities that can help them survive and help them get out of that uh, sticky situation and they're much less reliant on their high damage long range sniping weapon they now looks like they're going for an approach where all the sniper ships also have a medium range weapon that they can use more frequently and that the sniper weapons are something that you will get on a longer cooldown the watchman is a good good example of that i mean the the gauss cannon that they used before which has a had a, a couple of seconds cooldown it could fire pretty rapidly actually it now has a 30 second cooldown and the wind up the, the charge up time is now started not when you go into zoom mode but as soon as you click making it a lot more difficult to hit because the shot is not released as soon as you click you have to actually predict where the ship is going to be in two seconds plus the travel time of the shell so it's making it a lot more difficult to hit the sniping shells but again they now have this single weapon that can actually make them um make them work um on their own and i guess what they're trying to do here is they're trying to get the snipers off the back line because as the game was before this patch was released um the snipers would pretty much just sit at the back hovering over the their forward station so they could easily dip down behind the shield in case anything got uh, got too close to them um but now they're trying to to encourage the snipers to instead of just sitting right at the back of the map to to get move forward with the fleet as you move through a sector but still of course you are a sniper after all stay at the back of the pack so what you would now often see would be um heavies would probably go in the front maybe with some close range damage ship um then it would probably see support ships or medium range damage ships and then snipers at the back if you had like a pack moving forward through a sector um that's kind of the setup that i i guess they're um, they're going for um which is which is nice i mean the to be honest, the gameplay for the sniper was a little... It was pretty much just sitting back at the back of the back, find something to shoot at, click, um, and then hope that you you hit, um, and then wait for the cooldown, then click again. There's a lot more gameplay. You need to be a lot more uh, tactical about this. You need to, when you move, of course, you need to be able to move into cover in case someone actually gets in close. You need to always think about how you can get out of, uh, of a specific situation where you're taking your snipers in. So I think that's very interesting. I think that's a, a good change, even though I think they've been a little bit too hard with the Nerf Hammer or the Watchmen. I, I can, I, some people would argue that the Watchmen was a little overpowered before. Um, but I still think they hit it a little bit too hard um, on that. I mean, the 30-second the cooldown on the main weapon just seems uh, a little ex excessive. I mean, 
I don't know. Uh, I, f- I feel the Watchmen is a little underpowered now. Uh, the Overseer is actually pretty good now. So, um, but anyway, more on that will come in uh, in a future video. Um, but anyway, this is where I will then normally move into the answering questions section of the video, where I would answer questions from you guys. So if you have any, put them in the comments. Of course, this being the quote unquote first, after I am trying to relaunch the series, um, there's not going to be any questions uh, today, but again, this is where I would, would do that or talk about something else that would be going on on the channel that is maybe not related to a specific game that might be upcoming milestones or upcoming live streams or something like that. Um, but anyway, I really hope that you like this format. It's a little bit more loose. I just you know sit down and record. I have a vague idea what I want to talk about, but that's about it. Um, so if you like this kind of um, this kind of video, uh, let me know in the comment or by dropping a like down below. Um, and if you're not subscribed already, um, I have no idea how you found this video, but uh, I really hope that you will consider subscribing. Um, but anyway, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys in space.